Hi, Sophie here. So today I'm going to show you how I took my nails from thin, brittle and damaged to super healthy. I've got to admit something here. I got caught up in that whole gel nail cycle and I really, really regret it. So here's what happened real quick. I um, started having gel nails done because I am on television a lot, I do videos, the camera comes in really close to my hands, I'm a little bit paranoid about my hands anyway, as I've talked about in an earlier video, like the age spots on my hands. So I was getting even more paranoid because your it comes in really close, the camera to your nails, and I'm always like sort of picking up products and the camera comes in really close. So all that to be said that I couldn't go and have a manicure every single week, just didn't have the time or money to do that. So a gel nail was the solution because I'm very hard on my nails. I garden, I cook, I forget to put on my rubber gloves when I'm doing my dishwashing, yada yada. And suddenly, miracle. Plus, in the non-toxic salons here in Los Angeles, I found a couple of really great non-toxic gel brands. And I was like, great, this is perfect. But the problem was is that it basically ruined my nails completely because I'd cycle sort of in and out. I'd have gels, you know, for a few months and then think I've just got to go, you know, natural and do a more natural nail. But all of this going back and forth meant that every single time I had the gels removed, it basically scrapes off a layer of your nail bed. Oh, it just makes me cringe even to think about it. And even though I tried all the healthy practices such as, and there are quite a lot of newfangled kind of devices and things here in LA such as steaming off the nails that was one it's like you can literally machines that you could steal steam off your gel nails but it didn't work and so whatever newfangled device came out they'd always end up having to take that metal stick or orange stick to my nail bed and basically hacking off that gel nail so over time my nail beds got really really thin and when your nail bed is thin if you've ever had a gel nail for a long amount of time or a um, acrylic nail then when they grow out the nail is obviously thin and brittle because it is a damaged nail so that is really what happened to me so I decided a few months ago, enough was enough. I was like, I don't even care if I have, I've got to learn to do my own manicures or do something. I'm not going to do that anymore. So here's what I did to get my nails back to healthy. And I'm so happy now. I feel so much better. So first off, I decided that I had to detox my nails. And what that meant was that I went and I had them as for the last time, those gels very gently removed, as gentle as it can be. But as I say, by this time now, my nail beds are so thin that even having them gently taken off was like, you know, that sort of feeling of nails scratching down a chalkboard. It just kind of gave me the chills because it hurt and it felt so weird. So I had them taken off. Then I decided that I would just go completely naked. I would do nothing, naked nails. I would do nothing to my nails for a couple of weeks. I just wanted them to get light and air and water and soil from being in my garden. I just wanted them just to kind of like have nothing on them. So I didn't do any kind of base coat, nail hardener, nothing. And they really looked terrible. Probably during that sometime, some of my videos sort of that you've seen me do, my food ones, I'm literally holding cans like with a claw so as not to show my nails um but anyway so i just let it go and i had raggedy cuticles and and you know they just looked awful then i went to the nail salon and here's how i got my nails back to health so after a couple of weeks i went back and i said i just want a regular manicure so trim my cuticles and push them back trim them really gently. Tip number one, if you go to the nail salon and have regular manicures, make sure that they don't over trim your cuticles because that can cause, it can almost cause them to grow back, get those little sort of hang nails on the side more. So you need to find somebody who's very, very uh, not too kind of cuticle clipper happy. They're really, really gentle with that. So that's the first thing and I found somebody who really, you know, did that beautifully for me. Um, so, I, I then still didn't have anything put on my nail except 
for one product, which was a nail strengthener. And I did a lot of research and I came across one, uh, which is by a brand called 10 Over 10, and it is their nail strengthening base coat. And it's cruelty free, it's vegan, and it's a beautiful product. It has a very, very slightly pink hue, and it works beautifully. So I used that, just that, for a couple of weeks. The other thing that I did was I used a product which is by MV Organic Skincare, a brand that I love for their skincare, particularly if you have sensitive skin. And I'll link to every single product, of course, underneath the video, but it's the Hand Rescue. And what I love about this is not only is it a hand cream, a beautiful hand cream that smells amazing, but it's also a cuticle treatment. So every single night, kept this by my bed, I just massage it into my hands and really give my cuticles a really good uh, massage with this beautiful lotion. So that's that. That's what I did for a couple of weeks. Then next stage. Now I'm ready to go back on TV. I had an event I had to go to. It's like I need some kind of polish. So now I'm back. Oh, wait a minute. I've forgotten one vital product uh, as part of my nail recovery is by Lauren B. And it is the Nail Growth Serum. And it is a really, really beautiful product. So that I used as well. So the serum goes on you know really massage into the nail bed around the cuticles then you wipe it off and then on goes that nail strengthening base coat I'm glad I remember to tell you that so now it's like yay I'm gonna look at polishes so with polishes if you're not familiar there is a five free seven free or ten free and in the sort of green beauty world but it actually goes beyond the green beauty world now you really want to look ideally for a 10 free polish and that means that it is not using 10 of the toxic chemicals in it seven free are good as well but ideally look for a 10 free so that's what i was looking at obviously cruelty free vegan and all of the above but i wanted polishes that worked beautifully and not only had the shade i wanted but really you know would stay on my nail and and you know tickle those boxes so i came across a brand called cure bazaar and I'm absolutely besotted with this brand. And the color, the shade that I love that I'm wearing right now is called Kimono. And it's the perfect pink. It's not too pinky pink, it's not too white. It is the perfect, natural, healthy nail, pretty shade. But it is not, it's opaque enough that it covered my nail imperfections, of which there are still a few, because it's gonna take at least six months for me to get my nails back to really looking perfect without any polish on. Um, so I absolutely love that. So I'd use the 10 over 10 base strengthening coat, followed by the Cure Pizar, a beautiful color, a shade, natural shade, and then I followed it up with, it's called The Shield, and it's the Shield Top Coat by 10 over 10. And those three, that is the perfect trio. Could not be happier with that trio. Um, and then I also, actually while I'm here, I just wanna show you uh, two, three other nail polish brands, shade-wise, that I'm in love with. One is a brand called Hype, and I found Hype at IBE uh, Beauty, Indie Beauty Expo, and they are quite incredible, this brand, because I think it's 70 to 80% plant-based materials. It's almost like the greenest nail polish that you can find on the market, and their shades are to die for. They're so beautiful, classy, classical shades. So that was a really good find. Another find at IBE was a brand called Taupe Coat. And one in particular is this bright, bright, sort of spanking red uh, shade that's very, very pretty for a pedicure. So that's going on for a pedicure once it gets a little bit warmer and I'm gonna be wearing pretty sandals. And also Lauren B has really pretty shades and she's a local girl to Los Angeles. She's a real girl boss, woman round company. I love Love Lauren and she particularly go and look at some of her shades for glittery shades so think bachelorette parties summer wedding all those sort of shades she has a lot of glitter and pretty pretty colors very very feminine so check out Lauren B beauty and um, then 
finally, I'm gonna give you a tip in just a second for the nail salon, but before I get to that, I knew the question would be, what about nail polish remover? So now I no longer have to bother with those gnarly, you know, soaking my nails in acetone to get those gels off. I was on the lookout for the perfect nail polish remover, and I have found it. It is by Cure Bazaar, the same guys that make this little beautiful shade, pinky shade that I love. I found it at the detox market, and I will tell you, when I went into the detox market, and I'd done all my research, and I knew that I wanted to buy it, they were sold out. It literally has like a massive cult following here in LA, and I now know why. It comes in this big bottle, it's called Eau Dissolvante, which is so much nicer sounding than nail polish remover. 100% natural origin, a la rose. I'm gonna be honest with you, it, you don't get a huge whiff of rose when you smell it, but but what you do is, it's pretty greasy, which I love, because you know those nail polish removers at the drugstore that they go, they moisturize and protect while they remove polish. Well, I think that's BS. I do not eat any of those that I've ever tried in my life. They leave your nails so dried out. This does not. So you put a little bit, I put it on my little organic cotton, and then you're gonna start, I'm actually gonna remove my nail polish here now. You're gonna start just working it into your nail. I'm not gonna lie, it takes longer than one of those drugstore polish removers, but it's worth it because you just do it in front of the TV, you get it going, it's a little squeaky sound, but because it's greasy, you're basically rubbing all of this moisture into your cuticles. I promise you, it will leave your nail bed and your cuticles super duper moisturized. That is the best nail polish remover I've ever used in my entire life. Huge ad for Cure Bazaar. And then finally, my tip is when you go to the nail salon, pack a little bag with you, with your polishes in. I like to take my own hand scrub because you never know what kind of toxic chemicals and artificial synthetic stuff there is in those scrubs and hand lotions and whatnot. There's a beautiful polishing hand scrub by Lauren B Beauty as well. So I take all my stuff. And then in my little nail polish bag, I also put some either pine or tea tree oil essential oil because it's antifungal, it's antibacterial, and you never know what's gonna be floating around in those little bowls, particularly the, when you're having a pedi, you know, in those little foot soaking things. And I always say to them, listen, don't put, you know, whatever you're gonna put in, I'm, I'm good. And I just put two or three drops of pine essential oil or tea tree essential oil, and I know that I'm good to go, and that I'm safe, and I'm not gonna get some weird sort of fungus or anything like that. Um, and also if they cut or they cut you by mistake, then you're sort of covered for that too. So that's it. I'm getting my nails back to really healthy. I've had them cut really short, which I am loving. I think I'm always going to have them short now. And um, let me know, comments, questions, what are your experiences? Have you used gels? If so, how long? Have you had the courage to detox your nails? How about acrylics? Because acrylics, I think, are even worse. I've never had acrylics, but friends of mine that have have just said they literally almost have no nail left underneath it. So I'd love to know your comments and your feedback on this. And um, check out some of my other videos and the video that you might really want to check out because I am seeing such a difference now on the skin, on my hands and arms that I complained about. I was so embarrassed because I got some mean comment from somebody saying that my skin on my arms and hands look old compared to the skin on my face. How embarrassing, humiliating, hurtful, she was right. So I created this absolutely awesome vitamin C face and body serum, which is the best serum that I have ever ever made and I'm linking to it underneath this video and I use it religiously on my hands, arms, face, decollete, and you will love it too. So don't forget to grab that too. I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, there are hundreds more. And please also visit my blog at sophieuliano.com for detailed reviews, recipes, DIYs, and more.